Hello. In today's quick tip video, we will be following the process to configure our Mitsubishi Electric MR-J4-TM servo amplifiers with RS Logix and your Rockwell Automation PLC. Before we start, I recommend downloading a copy of our quick start guide on how to use Mitsubishi AOIs with the MR-J4-TM Ethernet IP on the RS Logix programming platform. This document contains a detailed instruction that expands on the process covered in this video and also includes a couple of sample programs that I'll reference later. I've included a link to download this guide in the description of this video. Connect the programming PC, Rockwell PLC, and Mitsubishi Servo Amplifier via your Ethernet network. Configure all devices to have the proper IP address and subnet masks and check your version of RS Logix 5000 and Mitsubishi MR Configurator 2. Set an IP address for your MR-J4-TM servo amplifier using the Anybus IP config tool. Finally, install the EDS file before creating a new project. You can find the EDS file on our website. I've also added this link to the description of this video. Let's begin. Start a new blank project in RS Logix 5000. Click the RCM Run button and select Go Offline. Now we are ready to import the sample program for our Quick Start Guide. Right click on Main Task under the Task drop down and select Import Program. Select the sample program titled Main Program QSG. Importing the program automatically uploads the add-on instructions and user-defined data types needed to run the add-on instructions that are within the program and control our servos. Once the program has been installed, we can view the sample program code. Click Main Program under the Main Task drop-down and select Main Routine. Here we can see that the first MCON add-on instruction is not fully assembled because we still need to add the Mitsubishi Servo as an Ethernet device. Go to Ethernet in the menu, right-click, and select New Module. Since we installed the EDS files for the MRJ4TM servo drives before starting this program, we can search for these devices in the menu. Type TM into the search bar and select MRJ4TM from the results and then click Create. In the new module menu, name the device. In this case, I'll use MITS underscore servo1. Enter the IP address of the servo amplifier. The IP address should match the IP address you set using the HMS IP config software. In this case, I'll use 192.168. Dot three dot one fifty. Check to make sure that the revision of your amplifier in the module definition menu matches the revision that is shown in the IP config software. In this case, the menu shows one, but the actual revision is two. Click the change button and change the revision to match. Or alternatively, you can disable keying in the electronic keying dropdown to bypass the revision. Click OK, yes, OK, and close. Now the program is complete and can be downloaded. Click the offline button and select download. Click download again to begin the process. Click yes once the download is complete and the program will be switched back to run mode. We can now see that we are running and there are no errors. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your Mitsubishi Electric J4 TM servo amplifiers in RS Logics.